Hello guys, welcome back. This is episode 2, The Arrangement. So thank you guys for watching the first episode of Abe's, which was creating the beat. If you haven't watched it, just click the card at the top of the screen so that you can watch it right now. I'm sure you're going to love it. So today we're going to arrange the beat. Well, question of the day, how do you structure your beat? How do you arrange your beat or your song? Normally on commercial songs, you're going to find a, an intro, a verse, a hook, a second verse, a hook, and then an outro. But let me know what you guys do. Do you improvise it in some type of way or how do you do yours? Just let me know. So now we have all our sounds. These are the main sounds. Maybe we're going to be adding some more sounds later, but this is what we're going to be using mainly right now. So I'm just going to start arranging the beat while I allow you to watch what I do. Alright, I like it this way. I want it to start with percussions. I want the piano to start with a percussion. So we're going to start it this way. I'm going to take, take out my kick from here. So that we just have the percussions playing and without the kick, yeah? Let's color it. All right. Yeah, this one sets the groove in, yeah? Then, doom, then. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna insert a time marker. We'll add one. So this would be the intro. Then the verse starts here. Verse one. We'll just copy this. So here and then. Let's have a kick here. Just for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to, uh, we're not going to make it like a standard complete song. Yeah. So this is just for, for an example, as an example, it depends on how long you want the verse to go or how short you want the verse to go. But for this one, um, no expectations. Yeah. We're just playing around. Okay, I'm gonna take out the, the pad. I'm gonna take it out. So this is the pad. Oh, I forgot to rename it. So it's gonna be pad. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. Then I'll find a new channel for it. Then I'll paste it here. So I don't want the pad to be part of the verse. That's why I take I took it out. Uh so, um, All right.
I think it's too long. So I'm gonna just make it short. Just for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm gonna make it short. Yeah. So this would be this part will be called hook or chorus. Now I'll copy it depends on now like I said this is a, an example but then it depends on what the artist would like to do on the track so if the artist wants to do something else then you create uh, a part where they would like to flow for whatever thing they would like to do but for now I'm going to copy the verse and the chorus as well and then paste it to such a uh, sort of a replica so this one becomes the replica of the verse this one is verse 2 yeah so structure we have intro we have verse 1 we have hook we have verse 2 and hook again then we will have outro outro here I think I'm just gonna repeat the same thing I did. Oh, let's put it this way. Yeah. Oh, that's a mistake on the spelling. Okay. So let's just play what we have. Maybe I'm gonna be messing around with a little singing, you know. And that's it. We have a song already. We have a complete beat. Well, please don't come for me. I know this is short. It's not up to three minutes. Just don't come for me like you came for Joe Boy. <laughs> anyway, that's just for banters. So um, right now we're going to look for some more sounds like crashes, some risers some rows and fills so that we'll have um some some more life to give more life to some parts of the beat yeah so we're going to find that in our browser like before the verse i want a row to happen So I have some nice rules from some 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 of my people here. Uh, have feels. Okay, let's just use this one. I'm gonna set the time to one bar, and then use a generic. Right, sounds good there. Sounds good there. So I'm gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna find some some crash. I'm 
I don't like that crash, so I'm gonna change it. I have some very nice ones from cashmere. Yeah, this one gives me what I want. So I just cut the tail so that it doesn't suspend for too long. Let's hear that. Yeah, cool. So I'm gonna take it to the same to the hook. Then we have the this one as well. Then duplicate it again to the to the hook. We don't want to have just too much. As you can see, we uh, we have it here before the verse, and we don't have it here before the second verse. Well, it depends on what you want. If the artist wants like a build up so that it will usher him into his verse, then you give him something like these. But if they don't need it, then you you don't just put it there. Yeah. All right, I, th I think I'm going to add a piano, a late piano somewhere around here. Copy this. That's piano. Put a piano here. A random color. What's the name? So I want it to be a late piano. Yeah? Okay, guys, just make sure you you name your your sounds just just so you can avoid confusion sometimes I'm gonna look for a different one. Uh, purity, 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 purity house. You just keep looking for the sound that you you want. Yeah, something like that.
gonna have this on stereo so that it just um it's just something different to make the verse dynamic all right So I want I want this this part of the piano to be different from from the first one. I want the sustain to go longer than that. there we have it now like I said earlier we're not doing too much on the arrangement so it depends on the artist. what does the artist want to do some producers what they do is they just lay out the basic uh, formulation of the beat and then when an artist sings on top then they try to put in some more sounds so that it will back it up and fill in here and there yeah so that's exactly what we did here we just laid out a beat and then we arranged it for a artist to write to it so one thing i'll advise you about arrangement is don't do too much so that you give space for the artist to be able to be himself or be herself or some producers let, let, per se, they fill in, they don't allow spaces. They fill in each and every part of the bars that they have with a sound or two just so that it can be more groovy. But then what they fail to understand is that what that does is it kills the vibe. It kills the artist's vibes because it doesn't allow him to be creative. So try and allow a lot of space for the artist to be their self so when they finish writing the song then if you feel that there's something that needs to be added then you can chip it in here and there and there all right so we've covered arrangement one last part that i'm going to do is i'm going to record my vocals on the track so that it sounds like a vocal chop or something i have some kind of idea i got somewhere so I'm just going to record that. So I'm I'm going to record into the playlist. So this one, audio into the playlist as an audio clip. So let's do that. Balanco. Whoa, that was off key. <laughs> Let me see. So that's our key. All right, so we record again. Galanco, en asunto Dante, en a body Galanco, en asunto Dante, en a body. Let's see what we have. Don't mind me, I, si I, I sing a little. <laughs> oh my God. It's so nice. So 
So I'm going to have this as some type of radio effect so that it just comes in like a, a radio sound in the beginning at, at some points in the in the in the mix. Alright. So I'm going to take it to the last part as well. So now it depends on what we intend to do on the mix. Okay, let's make it this way. Yeah. In the next episode, I am going to do a recording of vocals, or maybe I'll get an artist to come over and just do some do some freestyle on the beat, so that we just have a structural song per se. And then from there, then we can move into mixing. All right. So guys, this is it. Let me know in the comment section, how do you arrange your beats? How do you arrange your songs? Hope you got a little or a few things from this episode. And I want to see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Presto on the beat.